Hey everybody, Manny from The Way I Dad and we're in the middle of vacation season. So for us that means 10 hour flights with two under two. And while the destination can be fun, the flight can either make or break the mood of the entire first couple of days of your vacation. So today I want to give you my top 10 tips for international flight with little ones. First on this list is pack correctly. Now go onto your airline's website and they're going to tell you your baggage allotment. Most of the time it's going to be one check bag and two carry-on bags per purchased ticket. And then it allows you to use that carry-on that you have for your older child and just pack toys and clothes and snacks. For added organization, we add these packing cubes inside all of our bags. This really comes in handy in the dim light of the airplane. So when you're rooting around inside of all of your bags and you're looking for those baby socks, you can easily go inside and grab them. Tip number two, bring a play mat. Those terminals are not the cleanest and you don't know who or what has been walking around them. So you want to bring a blanket or a crib mat and place it on the floor for your little crawlers. This doesn't guarantee that they're going to stay on the mat, but it will keep them cleaner longer. Tip number three, reserve your bassinet. Most airlines are going to require that you ask for that bassinet when you go to check in your bags, but it doesn't hurt to call ahead and ask anyway. This bassinet attaches to the wall in front of your seats and gives your little one a nice comfortable spot to lay down. Now that same crib mattress that you used earlier, you can go ahead and place that as a liner for the inside of your bassinet and make it that much more comfortable. Tip number four, bring an umbrella stroller. Now we really love our running stroller, but it's just not practical for international flight. So we opted for a small foldable stroller that could easily be checked at the gate. And it actually was the smarter choice for Paris because most of the subway tunnels are devoid of elevators. Now for takeoff and landing, lollipops, pacifiers, and bottles are gonna help relieve the pressure that builds up inside their ears. Okay, let's talk about entertainment. Now, I highly recommend bringing coloring books or reusable sticker books, especially new ones. Um, this is gonna allow your child to be creative throughout the entire flight. I even brought a stack of old Band-Aids and this kept Albie entertained for hours. But honestly, any new toy, book, or gadget is gonna be a win. It's all about keeping it fresh for them. Now, we aren't big screen users, but on long haul flights, eventually you're gonna cave in at some point. And when you do, I highly recommend investing in a pair of kitty headphones. Now the headphones that they give out on the airlines are not gonna fit over their ears and your earbuds are not gonna stay inside. So give them something personal and comfortable that fits on their ears and they're gonna enjoy having on. Tip number seven, bring something to clean up with. You're gonna to wanna to bring sanitizing wipes. This could be used for lollipop pans or chocolate face or wiping down the seats and the diaper changing station. You have to keep in mind that these flights are highly occupied and they're full of germs and you don't wanna spend the entire flight telling your kids not to touch this or don't touch that. Now, whether your child is in diapers or potty training, you wanna bring a couple of extra changes of clothes for them in the event of an accident. You're also gonna to wanna to bring a wet bag uh, most reusable diaper companies are going to have these bags on their website but the great thing about them is not only do they trap the moisture and the smell inside these bags but when you get to your final destination you can throw the whole thing in the wash. Tip number eight is bring a sanitizing cup. Now these sanitizer cups are these little containers that you fill with water and you put inside the microwave and it steams your pacifiers and your nipples. The big takeaway from this is that you don't want to use the sink water in the airline. There's been a couple of studies that have shown there's a lot of salmonella and E. coli and all kinds of bacteria in that water and honestly you just don't want your child ingesting those germs. Tip number nine, be prepared for security. Now most people forget that they're allowed to bring food and drinks for their child. Uh, you're allowed to bring water, shelf safe milk and baby food jars as long as they're all still closed. TSA is still going to want to check those items, but you are allowed to bring them on the flight. And tip number 10, don't forget about you. Uh, it's going to be stressful, it's going to be chaotic, and down to the very end, you're not going to feel like you're ready. But you want to stay calm and collected, not only for yourself, but for your partner and your children. Well, I hope this makes your trip more enjoyable, and I hope you have a fun and safe flight. 
If you have any suggestions for international flight with toddlers, please, I'd like to hear them. Leave them in the comments below. And if you'd like more content like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks, everybody. Oh, <laughs> oh,